Day two of closing arguments in the sex trafficking trial of singer R. Kelly. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live outside Brooklyn Federal Court with the latest. Alice. Maurice and Christine, it's a bit loud out here. Some of the singer's supporters are blasting his music. The prosecution began its closing argument yesterday and finished today. It took them more than six hours. They went through their case in painstaking detail. The singer shook his head numerous times in reaction to the prosecution. Then the defense began. They allege all the witnesses lied on the stand and that the superstar singer did not have to recruit women as alleged. Six weeks of testimony, 50 witnesses, 45 for the prosecution and five for the defense. The prosecution argues those witnesses and the evidence show that Robert Sylvester Kelly ran an enterprise of assistants, bodyguards and others, all used to, quote, target, groom and exploit girls, boys and young women for his own sexual gratification. Their pictures all displayed on a board in the courtroom surrounding a photo of Kelly. Without that inner circle, prosecutors say he could not have carried out his alleged crimes and he ruled them with an iron fist. Among the claims detailed at trial, his marriage to the late R&B singer Aaliyah. It's alleged a government worker was bribed to get her a fake ID so Kelly could marry the 15-year-old because he feared he had gotten her pregnant. Witnesses testified about being locked in rooms, having to ask permission to leave or use the bathroom. A handful of witnesses for the defense included former employees and associates who said they never saw Kelly abuse anyone. His lawyers argue the accusers are groupies and stalkers who sought to take advantage of his fame and lied on the witness stand. During its closing argument, one of his lawyers compared R. Kelly to civil rights icon Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., saying they both sought to uphold the Constitution and make the government, quote, be true to what's on paper. The 54-year-old is charged with racketeering. It has 14 underlying crimes associated with it. Kelly is also charged with multiple violations of the Mann Act, which makes it illegal to transport anyone across state lines for any immoral purpose. He has pleaded not guilty. And at last check, the defense was still giving its closing argument. Then comes the rebuttal, and then the judge will charge the jury, and the case will be in their hands. That will likely happen tomorrow. Outside of Brooklyn Federal Court, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. All right, Alice, thank you.